can this uterus have tumors? It can and frequently does. And what's the most common one? Well, fibroid tumors, or some people refer to them as myomas or leiomyomas, are very common. And probably some studies have estimated as many as 70 to 80 percent of women will have fibroids to some degree by the age of 50. Uh, do they cause symptoms? They can. Now, in many cases, they don't. And if they're not causing symptoms, they don't necessarily have to be addressed. But in many cases, they can cause symptoms, and that could be bleeding, pressure or pain. They can sometimes interfere with getting pregnant, fertility issues, and things of that nature. So in a routine physical exam, can you feel a fibroid? You can, although the very small ones, the teeny tiny ones, uh, may be missed, but uh, that's okay as long as they're not causing any symptoms because they are benign in nature, but the larger ones usually can be felt on an exam. So you say they're benign in nature, so they're not pre-malignant. They, they, they don't go into cancer usually. That's correct. They're not cancer or pre-cancer. How big do they get? Well, it varies, and it depends on the individual patient, but I've seen you know, quite large ones. Uh, large would mean as big as an egg? Uh, even larger than that sometimes. We'll uh, have patients who look like they may be close to full-term pregnancy uh, with the size of their uterus due wow. to the fibroids.